What up, YouTube? Welcome to Not Quite Mint, and today we're going to go through our key comments for the 25th of the 3rd, 2020. So, let's have a look. What, should we get to it? Let's get into it. Right then, guys, welcome back to our Keys of the Week uh, video. We've got quite a few uh, keys to get through uh, this week. And, uh, yeah, they've, uh, we've got to make sure you stay to the end because we've got, a, I think, quite an unusual Key of the Week. Uh, but, yeah, it's a personal choice for me and Tom. We're both really excited for it. So, uh, hopefully, uh, there is quite a good uh, bit of hype from uh, you guys as well. Um, if you are new to the channel, obviously, give us uh, a thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed and tapping the little dingly bell as well just so that you don't miss any of our, uh, our content when it comes out um tom normally does a dingly bell which is really uh, which is really sad actually yeah which, it's, not uh, really... it's not the same is it i can't be there corona job <laughs> anyway uh so we are gonna um hammer into it uh with... but don't get to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to give you a chance to win some free comics and possibly some bog Nice, nice, classy. Right then, so, uh, shall I get the well, list started, mate? I'll, I'll trade the sheets for CGCs. <laughs> You've been thinking those up for, he's been thinking those up for a week, I can tell you that now. So we're yeah, going to start yeah, with uh, a couple of worthy of notes. So these aren't keys, but they're a couple of books that we are currently reading, um, so, and we, we may well end up uh, reviewing towards the, the end of, obviously, next... Uh, the, well, towards the end of uh, the week, so keep your eyes open for that. And they are um, X-Men Fantastic Four, issue three. First two issues were pretty damn good. And the other one is, Tom? Yes, the other one is Star Wars Bantards, is issue two. I really enjoyed the issue one. Um, Bantards is my kind of jam. I don't like Star Wars overall, but... Phantoms are cool as hell. So that was cool. I enjoyed yeah, that. Fine. Go and get it if you too. Yeah, looking forward to that one. So we're going to get into uh, the rest of the keys now. We're going to start with uh, DC Comics. Uh, and we have got, uh, basically, uh, it's Batgirl. Um, it's the only key that we've got down for uh, DC this week. And it's saying that it is a possible cameo of a new villain. Uh, did something follow Jason Bard uh, as he exited the portal? I don't know because I'm not reading it. So there you go. No, but did something follow the question? But there you go. So that's the only DC one. We're going to move on to uh, Marvel uh, comics now, Tom. So do you want to start us off on Marvel? Yeah, so we've got the um, Wolverine issue two, and it's the first appearance of the Pale Girl. I think we did see cameo appearance of her in the last issue. Uh, and last, the last issue this was actually really good. So. Yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed Well, We really enjoyed it. It was pick of the week, wasn't it? Wolverine one, I think it when it work. when it came out. So, yeah, that's a good one. And it's obviously got a it's a, a key issue for uh, the first appearance of the Fat Power Girl. So awesome. Next one up is uh, getting back onto this Road to Empire. Uh, we've got the Cree Skull Scroll War number one. Uh, this one's saying that it's a one shot origin of the Cree Skrull War as told by the Skrull family, the Warners. So interesting. Is that, I think that's Hulkin's mum and dad. I don't. I, I genuinely do not know. I genuinely because I've I've not read any of the other ones, so my 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 See, knowledge on this is. I know a little bit about Hulkling because I, I read um, uh, Young Avengers, so I know a little bit. I just don't know a lot. Maybe it is. Let us know in the comments down below, guys. Who who are the Warners? <laughs> Yeah, you might know. You might know. Help us out. Help us out. So, next one up. Well, maybe this is, is, is the same that Warner Brothers are uh, coming to take over. Oh, uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, uh, so next up, we've got Marvel Avengers. Uh, Black Widow number one from the Game of Earth, uh, and this is uh, mm. it's. I don't know why they keep bringing these up as keys, really, because it's a prequel to the upcoming video game for the uh, Marvel's oh, Avengers no, video game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say, I don't think anyone's reading these. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, only the Silver Surfer one's been read. Mm. Yeah, I agree, mate. 
So you want to do the next one? Yeah, man. So the next one up is Helions, uh, issue one. There was a, 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 a new Helions comic that came out quite a while ago, but this is the third appearance of Helions' team. Mr. Sinister, Scalp, Scalp Hunter, Wild Child, Empath, Nanny, uh, Orphan Maker, Psylocke and Havoc. I mean, what more That's, do you want? It's like a badass team. It's pretty wild sounds like child. a good team appearance, definitely. Okay, cool. So Hellions number one sounds good all round. Uh, and then, guys, uh, the last Marvel one is Immortal Hulk number 33. Uh, and this one, it's unconfirmed, but they're talking that it might well be the first appearance of the thought, Thoughtful Man. Doesn't mean a great deal to me now. I've oh, read... I I <laughs> well, I've made... I've, 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 I've read up to, I think, about issue 24 of Immortal Hulk, uh, and then I, I, mm. just, I, I just dropped it because I, I wasn't enjoying the story. But, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to pick this up and see what's going on with it. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah. All right then. So that's Marvel done, the big two. So we're actually going to finish with Independence, leading our way to our pick of the week or key of the the week, guys. So uh, first up, Tom. So the first one for the Independence is uh, No One Rose. Uh, it's the last human civilization uh, li- li- live under a dome of un. No. In a story described as a growing solar punk world filled with strange biotech, harsh superstorms, and diverse ideologies that threaten to tear apart all of the remains. Sounds terrible. Can we move on to the next one? Yeah. So, <laughs> that was a mouthful to say. <laughs> so, so the next one, guys, is Exo Man of War number one. Now, uh, this is, I believe, quite a cult uh, character, quite popular. It's the fifth. Um, it's a premise. Whilst this is an issue one, it's it's like the fifth volume, if you like, of uh, the Exo Man of War series. So I don't know anything about it, but I've heard. Uh, I think it's Gem Mint Collectibles. He talks about Exo Man of War being really good, so it might be worth. What well, you know, certainly sounds like one maybe worth checking out. Yeah, man. You're up, mate. Uh, the next one is uh, and the Tramp. Yeah. Uh, Eisner, not sorry, loosened, loosely inspired by Charlie Chaplin's satirical film. The Great Detective. Yeah. That's it, thank you, mate. Um, <laughs> That's it, done. <laughs> initially, back in May 2019. <laughs> so, um, yeah, oh, yeah, the next yeah, one. I'm not bothered. <laughs> the next one is called Killing Red Sonia, number one. Isn't she. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I've, I've never read anything Red Sonia ever. Uh, but this one's saying to become queen, Sonia had to defeat an emperor, but he had a son who now seeks revenge. So I know nothing about Red Sonia, so I really am going to struggle to tell you about any more than that. Yeah. I mean, I know they did a crossover with her and Spider Man and Denim years ago. I've got that comic. And by Michael Turner, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. about as much as I know about Red <laughs> Cool. So, do you want to round it off with our key of the week, Tom? Yeah! Oh! Transformers versus Terminator. Now, what more? The first crossover of Terminator. Why would you not pick this comic up? Nice. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger punching up John Prime in the same it's pretty exciting. It does look. It does. It does. It it sounds very, 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 very exciting kind of film. So, film a book. <laughs> so definitely well worth uh, picking yeah. it up. I think. Pick that comic book up now. Yeah, I'm hoping actually that it'll fill the void when uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers drops off. I hope it fills that void that we'll have. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, um, that's all of the keys done, guys. So it's now time to talk you through um, how you can take part in our giveaway, where we're giving away, uh, it's basically a crate of comics. It's our NQM crate. Um, First things first, you get obviously our two uh, picks of the month from last month, which was DC DC Stunkillables and uh, Batman Detective Comics Annual 3. 
Then, guys, you get to set these seven other comics that we randomly picked out of our when we did our comic blend monthly review video. And then Tom has prepared this. It's a little bit grainy on the picture, but what Tom has done uh, is basically it's a he's done a hand drawn sketch cover for uh, Thor number one. Um, it's penciled at the moment, uh, and he's, we're, we're just wondering if uh, you, as the viewers, if you're going to win it, if you'd like, uh, if you'd like, obviously the lines to be filled in and inked. Uh, if you let us know in the comments down below, that would be fantastic. Yeah, man. <laughs> so we are all done here, guys. Those were our keys of the week. Do make sure you are subscribed and you hit the bell and give us a thumbs up. And uh, yeah. As I say, guys, make sure that you stick with us. And thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. And see you.